Hey YouTube, Apple iDev here. Um, my trip to Israel was great, but it is great to be back uh, working with you guys, and I'm really excited to get our next video out. Um, thank you guys for the support. Even when I was gone, uh, I almost tripled my uh, video views and almost doubled my subscribers without actually posting any videos, which was awesome. Um, so keep up the support and uh, keep viewing and subscribing. Um, in case you can't tell, uh, I am a little sick, so if I, you know, sound kind of gross, that's why. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, today what we're going to do, since we already talked about all the data types, today we're going to talk about arithmetic. Um, and the biggest thing about arithmetic in I O or in, um, C is that there are a lot of cool things that it can do, but you have to be really careful with a lot of stuff. So first we're going to just kind of demonstrate all of the cool things that you can do. So the first thing that you can do um, is obviously addition. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare an integer um, and we'll just make that integer value 0. And what you can do is you can uh, say um, let's say add 1 equals add 1 plus 5. And what that will do is it will obviously take the value of add 1, which is 0 right now, and we'll add 5 to it. Um, so, um, usually what we're going to do is I'm going, yeah, so, um, yeah, such, so again, just basic addition. Um, then, if you want to uh, subtract, obviously you do the same thing, or with subtraction. So we'll say add one equals two. Come on, there you go. Here, all right, we'll just call it a rith. All right, so we'll say rith equals rith minus three. So that will do what you would guess. It subtracts 3. Uh, next, we're going to take it and we'll uh, do multiplication. So we're going to say times 4. And of course, division works the same way. So what that will do is 2 times 1 times 8 divided by... All right. So those are just your basic operators. Um, however, there's also one more, um, and uh, this is called uh, either the modulo or the remainder uh, operator. And what this does is, let's say, um, we're gonna make that a bigger number. Um, let's say we do with modulo, it's the percent symbol, modulo uh, 3. What that's going to give us is, right now that number is going to be 5 minus 3 is 2 times 8 is 16, so that number is going to be 8. 8 divided by 3 is uh, 2 and 2 thirds. Um, what this operator is going to give us is it's going to assign the number 2, uh, because uh, if you take away, it's just going to give you whatever the remainder of the division would be, uh, rather than giving you a decimal. Uh, and it can be a really handy uh, shortcut in a lot of programs, uh, so it's just a good thing to know. Um, all right, so the next thing we're going to do is called compound operators. Uh, you see, th this looks sort of messy and inefficient. Let's say arith equals arith plus 5, arith equals arith minus 3. Uh, there's a faster way to do this. I'm going to say int arith 2 equals 0. And watch what we're going to do here. We're going to say arith plus equals 5, arith minus equals 3, arith times equals 8, arith divided by equals 2, 
and Earth. And there actually isn't one for the modulo, just because it doesn't make sense to have one. Um, so, um, as you can see, this looks a lot cleaner. The catch is, um, to a lot to some programmers, this looks confusing, and they don't really like uh, that type of notation. Um, so that's the one thing you have to watch out for. The last uh, set of operators that we're going to do are called increment and decrement operators. Um, and what these operators are is they will either increment or decrement the number you're working with by one. Um, so, um, if we say int increment equals zero, and we say increment plus plus, now if we uh, print the value of increment, the value is going to be one. You say increment plus plus and another semicolon, now it's worth two. However, if we say increment minus minus, now it's back down to one. Um, so it's very simple. However, you know, there's one more catch to these increment and decrement operators, which are the fact that uh, you can also do it this way. You can say plus, you can say plus plus increment. Um, and the difference is, it's a postfix versus prefix notation. This is postfix, this is prefix. Uh, prefix means it's going to calculate it, it'll increase, increment it or decrement it, and then it's going to do what you're telling it. So right here it doesn't matter, but let's say we did something like we have a print statement, and I'll, the next uh, tutorial or the one after that will we'll cover print statements. But let's say we say printf quote percent d quote comma plus plus increment and then we'll say we'll do the same thing actually that all right so we're going to do that and we're going to change this to postfix. All right. So what you're going to see if we um, one sec here. What you're going to see if we uh, run the program is that. Here, hold on one more second here. So here what happened is we had the value of increment, we added 2, subtracted 1, and added another one, so it was at 3. So then what happened is, um, so then what happened is, um, we printed it. Hmm. Well, hold on, now that doesn't make sense. Or, sorry, so it was at 2 here. It was at 2, and then back down to 1, then up to 2. And here we incremented it to 3. But because we use prefix, it incremented it before it put it into the print statement. So then, when we did it here, the value is still 3. When you go down here, it says 3. But then because it's postfix, it doesn't increment it until after it puts it in the print statement. So it'll print the 3, then increment it to 4, and that's why down here, that's the one that prints 4. So, it's just an idea of uh, prefix and postfix notation. Um, we'll cover it a little more later in uh, looping structures, but for now you just have to know what that is and uh, know that it is going to be a very important and potentially confusing concept. Um, so um, that's really it for now. Actually what I will do is uh, I'm just going to do something here to show you guys that all of this actually works. Um,
Just bear with me here. All right, so uh, I'm just going to run this to kind of give you guys an idea of um, just to kind of show you what works. So uh, if we look here, you'll see that we have all the numbers. You'll see a width started at zero, like it did. Then we added five to it, and that's here. We subtracted three, multiplied by eight, divided by two, and did the modulo three, which give us two, just like we hoped it would. And you see we got the same results here like we wanted to. And that's about it. So uh, that's arithmetic. I'll cover a little more in the next tutorial since this one's getting kind of long. Um, so that's about it. So uh, keep watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.